In this video, I'll show you three creative ways to use text masks in PowerPoint. These are super easy to make, so without further ado, let's get started. And for the first one, we're gonna start by inserting an image that takes the whole area of the slide like this. Next, you're gonna go to Shapes and select a rectangle. And here, we're just gonna add it to the slide wherever you want. Here, I decided to put it on the top part of my image. Perfect. Now you're gonna go to Insert, select a text box, and we're gonna add it to the center of the rectangle like this. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know that you'll need a very large and bold font for this effect to work. So in my case, I'll go with a font that I really like a lot that I downloaded online that it's called Akira Expanded. Okay, perfect. So now you just need to add your worth. In my case, it will be Ferrari and then you can make it a lot larger. You can do that by clicking on this button right here. And for this one, no pun intended, the bigger, the better. So just make sure that it fits within the rectangle like this. And then holding shift on your keyboard, you're going to select the rectangle first and then the text. Then you're going to go to shape format, click on merge shapes and then on combine. And that's just one of the ways to create a text mask using PowerPoint. Okay, so you're going to right click on it and then click on format shape. That will open this panel on the right hand side. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll get rid of the outline and then we're going to change the field to a gradient field. Let's start customizing our gradient. So we'll need three gradient stops in this area and this one in the middle will be the most important. So for the stop on the left, it really doesn't matter what color there is, just change the transparency to 100%. And you're going to repeat the process with the color on the right, just change the transparency to 100%. And for the one in the middle, just change the color to whatever you want. I changed it to red because I think it really stands out against the background. To make it really pop, I'm going to duplicate the image that I have on the background and put it in the exact same position. And then let's get rid of the background by going to shape format and clicking on remove background. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just make sure that the area that will be interacting with the text is perfectly etched. And that way, when you apply the changes, you'll have the text behind your object, which looks incredible. Okay, great. So the last thing to do is to add our information here at the bottom. And if you want to take it a step further, let's add some animation. So for the text at the top, I'm going to go to animations and apply a fade animation. And let's make sure that the start is set to start with previews and also increase the duration slightly. And for the content at the bottom, I'm just going to add a different animation. So just go to animations and here I'm going to select fly in. Again, let's make sure that the start is set up to with previews. And the first way is done and it looks absolutely amazing. Now wait, because a lot of people have asked me if I have any recommendations on where they can learn PowerPoint or how they can become PowerPoint pros like me. Of course, you could study graphic design and wait four years to get a degree like I did, or you can take the quickest and cheapest route, which is learning a new skill through online courses. There's a platform called Skillshare that has a ton of courses where you can learn pretty much any skill you need. There are courses for almost every category, from animation and photography to video creation, and of course, software like PowerPoint or Canva. If you go to Skillshare.com on your browser, you can join and get unlimited access to all the courses on the platform with a monthly membership. And wait, because the first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. So for example, if you search for PowerPoint, you'll find a bunch of courses from certified experts. There's one by Alan Lomer, for example, that teaches PowerPoint for beginners, or another one from my friend OneSkill, who's an amazing PowerPoint creator and YouTuber, where he teaches you how to create a modern PowerPoint point template in less than two hours. The coolest thing is you can watch anytime, any day at your own pace. And you can even save your progress and download the resources the instructor provides so you can practice along with them. If you want to learn PowerPoint, Canva, or a bunch of other skills, try out Skillshare for free. And the first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial. So let's go. All right, so for the second one, I'm gonna start by right clicking on the slide and clicking on format background. And here, let's select a picture or texture field and click on insert. Next, you're going to select an image from your files. I downloaded this image from unsplash.com. And then let's insert a text box. So just click on text box. And here you're going to write a word. And as the previous one, I'm going to select a large font that is bold as well. And for this one, I chose impact. 
Okay, perfect. So now you're going to insert a rectangle that covers the entire text box and you're going to select both of them like this. Next, you're going to go to merge shapes and here you're going to click on intersect. Let's quickly get rid of the outline by clicking here and then selecting no outline. And I'm just going to make it larger like this and put it right here in the middle of the slide. Let's click on shapes again to select a rectangle and we're going to insert a rectangle that covers the entire slide like this. Right click on it to send it back and it will seem like nothing happened, but just wait a little bit. We're going to right click on it and then click on format shape. In the panel on the right, you're just going to change the color of the fill. I change it to black, but you can change it to whatever you want. And you're going to increase the transparency. Also, let's make sure to get rid of the outline like this. And then you're going to select the text and you're going to change the fill to slide background fill. And the coolest part is that it doesn't matter if you change the position of the text, it will always pick up whatever is on the background. Okay, perfect. So now let's just add some content here at the bottom. And if you want to take it a step further, let's just add some animation. By holding shift on your keyboard, select the text box and the rectangle. And let's go to animations. And here we'll apply fly in. Finally, change the start to with previews and increase the duration slightly and you're done the second way looks like this absolutely incredible and now for the last one let's start by inserting a text box here in the middle let's just add a word i'll quickly change the color so you can see and now i'm gonna select a different font for this one i'm gonna pick impact and i'll just quickly center align it and also make it larger by using this button right here Okay, perfect. So for this one, let's go to insert. And here we're going to select a video from the stock videos library. And this is just an example. You can choose whatever video that you want, but I'm going to pick obviously an ocean because my presentation will be about a fish. So just select it and click on insert. And then you're going to select both of the elements. And on the search bar, you're going to search for merge shapes. And here it is. So let's go to merge shapes. And here we're going to click on intersect. Amazing. Now, something very important is to click on playback and here to select to start automatically. OK, perfect. So now I'll just make it a little bit larger and it's looking a little bit plain. So I'll just add an image of a fish. I got this PNG online from Google Images. And to make it pop a little bit more, I'm just going to send it to the back like this. I'm going to add the image again and just put it in the exact same position and for this one to make it a little bit 3d i'll go to picture format click on crop and here i'm just going to move this handle to the right and that way the image will pop up from the letters like this i'll repeat the process for the tail so i'll just duplicate the image again put it in the exact same position go to picture format click on crop and only this time I'll move this handle to the left like this. So we only keep the tail and that way it looks like the fish is interacting with the text, which looks very, very cool. And that's it, guys. That's the third way done. So which one of these was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. You can download these lights from the link in the description box and I'll see you in my next video.